So this one we're gonna do where we cut a hole through the box. Um, and so on the, again, in the, on canvas, I call this one piercing, like you're piercing a hole through it. Um, and so, you know, again, one point perspective, horizon line, my vanishing point. I just, you can tell I'm using the same space that I had done the other one on. Um, I drew my box, so a rectangle connected to the vanishing point and, you know, completed the box. And so um, this one's really similar to this one, um, but instead of the, you know, when I draw my little rectangle, instead of it touching the edge, it's gonna be more in the middle, okay? So really, it's just sort of the same steps. You're just gonna draw a square or rectangle, and it can be kind of anywhere in the middle as long as it's still on the middle. It doesn't, you don't want it to touch the edges. So we're there, and then, I don't know, I'll probably put it like right there. Yeah, right there's a good spot. Okay, and... Actually, I feel like that's a little crooked. There we go, that's better. And so even though I'm, you know, you can see I'm kind of close to the top, I'm still in the middle, and again, the idea is that you're putting a hole through the middle of it, okay? Um, and so the way I drew the box, it goes back a little further. Um, you know, if the box goes, like if it's a really shallow shape, it doesn't go that far back in space, there's some extra steps involved. Um, you know, and so you can ask me in class <laughs> if you want to do that. Um, but really, just what we have here um, will work, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of re-darken that, there we go. So, um, you know, generally the idea would be that all these would go back to the vanishing point. But since I can already tell this isn't gonna go, you're not gonna be able to see all the way through the thing. We just kind of have to define that inside corner. So all I'm really doing is lining up that, you know, that corner right there with the vanishing point, And then I just draw it to there. And then that's the space, okay? Um, you know, and again, that's really all that would happen because the back of the box would be over here. So we can't see all the way through if we're just seeing the inside corner. And so just like I did with the other ones, I'm going to go through and just darken everything in. I didn't tell I got a new ruler. I'm still drawing crooked lines, but that's okay. And then, and then I come out very good. Um, and again, I'm just gonna darken in everything that uh, would be visible. So I don't need to erase all my underdrawing. I just need to make sure that I, again, define or, you know, emphasize everything that be visible. So that way, and this is, applies for you guys too. When you're all done with this, then um, it helps you visualize. Visualize the actual finished form. Because of course it's not covered in lines. You're just, you know, you're looking at, you'll be able to focus on just the ink lines and not the uh, graphite lines. And as you're, as you're um, re-outlining things, especially if you're using something like I have, it's a little more like a Sharpie tip. Um, just be careful about, you know, make sure the ink's dry before you really run the ruler over it. You can tell it kind of smudged a bit on me there. That's okay. Um, if it smudges a bit, it's okay. But just be careful about that. So anyways, that is the, um, you know, piercing, where you cut a hole through the box.